Hey everybody, it's your com devs Kim and Ari here from Far Cry 4. Kim? Well, we're about to play Escape from Durgesh. We're going to cut it down for time so that you guys can just see the highlights. This is a time DLC, so stop wasting everyone's time and let's get to it. Winky, winky, RJ. I must apologize for you, Ma. She stepped out of line back at Durgesh. So we begin this DLC, Escape to Durgesh, uh, at the top of a tower, waking up in a haze, as many do on Sundays. It's Escape from Durgesh. Oh, what did I say? Two. Amazing. So Pagan has given us an ultimatum, and we have an extraction point that we have 30 minutes to get to. There's a bunch of ways that you can actually increase your time in the game. Uh, one of them is by taking down propaganda posters, you can do karma events, and because when you get to the final extraction point, Yuma's army is going to be waiting for you, it's a really good idea to buddy up and to try and do some of the missions to get you some bonuses at the end. So we're going to buddy up. You can buddy up just like those little birds. You notice they flew off in a pair. I wonder if they're lovers. Yeah, they flew in from Assassin's Creed. <laughs> So you can see now the timer's popped up and you have 30 minutes to make it to the extraction point. So once you get to the extraction point, the timer resets to 10 minutes and you have to hold that point for 10 minutes to make sure that the helicopter can safely take off. So the pressure is always on. Always, that's what this thing is all about, pressure. All right, so we're gonna grab down this poster, get ourselves some extra time and Herc and AJ are gonna go do one of the missions to try and get some caged animals that you can have at the extraction point, explosive barrels that will be available to you. Now, just selecting any location or any mission on your map creates that waypoint for both you and your partner to head over, right? I think that's how this works. Herc, do you wanna do the honors? Jumping off of things is such an amazing thing to do in Far Cry 4. He's incredibly graceful. And I appreciate that. So now we're swooping into a mission where Pagan Min wants us to stop one of Yuma's convoys that comes by land and sea. Now, presumably, this duo have done this before because Herc has an amazing strategy. So as AJ grabs one of the numerous mounted weapons in Far Cry 4, Herc is going to try and lay some traps. It's a great way to pair up, use your strengths, bombs, shooting grenades at boats. Is bombs one of your strengths, or are you better at shooting grenades at boats? Shooting grenades at boats is definitely my forte. Stay alert! This isn't over yet. Now, you could try and do this without any help, and you will probably die time and time again. Dying is very important in this DLC because you experience permadeath. Well, the thing I think with the permadeath and coming back is that it's a learning experience. So if you've done this once and you didn't make it, you come back at it again and you know how you can handle it this time. You have the weapons that you had, you have the skills that you earned. Did you major in shooting grenades at boats? I did, university? it's my degree, thank you for asking. Wonderful. Mine was exploding jeeps with C4 on wooden bridges. And look where we've come. Oh, Yuma's Wrath, mission complete. Excellent, so that's gonna give us some bonuses when we get to the final fight at the extraction point. So here's one of those karma events that oh. I was talking about. <laughs> Man, that was brutal. Okay, so here we've got a karma event. And in Karat, it pays to be a good Samaritan because saving the hostages and killing the guards will give you a minute and 15 more seconds to get to the extraction point. And here we are at the extraction point. Now, does that mounted gun look familiar to you? It should, because we unlocked it in the last mission. We've unlocked the gyrocopter, and it is going to swoop us in and you will notice or hear a very angry caged animal. We've also unlocked that. Now, since we've done this a couple times before, we know that there are jeeps on their way up the path, and we're gonna lay some traps for them. Oh, jeeps. Merry Christmas. And huge success. And this guy has made it out, or has he? Silly jeeps. It's also worth considering that hardcore players might actually want to engage this thing early. If they're looking to have an experience that's not littered with barrels, that they don't want those animals, and they wanted to go, you know, mano a mano with these troops, they can do that too. They can. If you want to be a crazy idiot, you go for it. We're not going to judge you, except maybe call you a crazy idiot like I just did. Oh, 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 oh. 
Now here's where the permadeath thing really kicks in because you're going to be engaged in combat for quite some time as you defend this extraction point. So it really matters that you've got your partner there to revive you if anything should happen and that you keep in mind that you go down and that has to start over again. You must feel proud, Archie. I know I do. Now get to the extraction point defended with one second to spare. Helicopter achieved. Beautiful pink screen. It's been wonderful chatting with you, Pagan. If you finish up and you think you were good, joke's on you, you were terrible. You're not even in the top 100. So you're gonna have to do that again, get better kills, more animals, do more missions, and just nail it.